Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all around the world, children of all ages, no matter what time zone you're in, where you are, we got you covered and up to date on all the latest sports news. Uh, this piece of sports news, well, first off, first off, if you want to get one of these cool shirts like I got, you see here, you know, these Run Boys Fantasy Sports Network official company shirts, then you can go to runboys.com, go to the treasure shop. And pick out your size. Done and done. But um, other than that, we do need to talk about some Redskins updates. ACTR, we're going to address my team here today, the Washington Redskins. Washington Redskins are releasing uh, Mason Foster from the from, from the team. He did lead the team in tackles, la in tackles last year. Um, Foster started all 16 games for D.C., um, and he led the team in tackles with, with 133, 38 games overall in his, in his four seasons with the Redskins. Um, he spent his first four years of his career uh, as a starting linebacker for the Bucks. Um, and we picked him up in 2015 after he was uh, after he was cut by Chicago. So he's definitely been a good role player for us. Um, it sucks when you when you lose a, when when you lose a guy that's your leading tackler, but we've seen some things and some phases out of Bosick to where it's like, okay, you know, Bosick can come in and we like that. We like John Bosick uh, filling in at that position. We also drafted a couple guys that can, you know, kind of play, play two-way inside and outside. Um, I know uh, Cole Holcomb uh, is, is a guy that, that can, you know, play play both. Uh, Sean Dion Hamilton is going to be a kid that is going to be able to as well get out there and prove himself and shine and grind to be able to make a roster spot roster spot all in all i think that roster spot goes to bostic um he just probably you know he, he just fits fits that position a little bit better um we were kind of hanging on to him we were kind of hanging on to foster you know in hopes that you know uh that that, that reuben foster was gonna was gonna be our guy um but then reuben got hurt so that changes things. And then Trent Williams is holding out. So that changes things. You want to try and reassure up Brandon Sheriff. So that changes things. So you got to save money somewhere. Now, round about how much will 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 cutting uh, Mason save us? Uh, it's gonna, gonna be somewhere around around the market of four mil. Maybe we use that extra four mil uh, to to extend Trent Williams' contract, or we do it to to assist in Brandon Sheriff. Look. Ask about my reaction. Moves like this in the NFL happen all the time. It's a business. Um, I know there's going to be some Skins fans, and they can feel free to get at me in the comment section um, and tell me about all their all their emotions and their grievances about how they feel. Uh, but all in all, the NFL is a business. This is a business, and this is a business decision. When you got guys like Trent Williams and Sheriff that you need to share up on the offensive line, and you need to protect a young quarterback like Dwayne Haskins. Um, then definitely, definitely let's move around our pieces. Let's orchestrate our pieces the way that we need to in order for us to make our team as successful as we need to be. And in order to make that offensive line successful for, for Dwayne Haskins in the future, if we're cutting our leading tackling, our leading tackling linebacker, then I would hope that it's just free up cap space and in order to sure up our off our offensive line, let's keep Haskins healthy. Let's keep guys healthy because AP don't got too much more time. Let's keep AP healthy. Um, you know, let, let's let's work around 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 that 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 young backfield back there, uh, and, and provide them as much up front. If we gotta you know throw throw some money at these guys and we gotta you know free up a few a few guys that were impactful players for us the previous season, uh, i.e. Mason Foster in this scenario. Then so be it. It is what it is. I am a okay with it. I am not gonna shed a tear. I'm not gonna cry. It is not the end of the world for me. In terms of a Redskins fan, I'm fine. I'm good. It's cool. Um, I'm sure he's gonna go to another team and and be be a uh, stellar athlete there and be one hell of a star there. I think that he that Mason Foster does maybe have you know two three seasons left in him. Uh, He's played with the Bucks, play with the Bears, play with us. Players go to different teams all the time and still have illustrious careers. 
So I wish you the best, Mason Foster. Thank you for all that you did for the Redskins. ACTR, as always, I hope that you see yourself as a Redskin for life. Um, if not, and if you know this phases you anyway, you're upset, so be it. Whatever team you sign with next, we'll see you on the field. But uh, we gotta we we gotta pay 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 these offensive linemen. We we gotta pay these linemen. We gotta get them taken care of. And I just personally feel that that's far far more important. And I feel that we have pieces on our defense, and in terms of depth, that we're okay defensively to lose this one piece. If we were losing like two pieces today, I'd be like, oh my fucking god, we're gonna be fine. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, cheers to me. Cheers to you and all the Rum Boys and Girls what to do. Don't forget to check out rumboys.com for some of the most fire articles that you'll ever read, period. The most entertaining articles that, that you'll read, period. Power rankings are getting done now um, for all 32 teams, so make sure you guys check that out as well. Rookie interviews from the NFL Players Association rookie premiere that Sportscaster flew us out to Beverly Hills for are up on rumboys.com as well. So make sure you check that out. Um, know some of you guys have gotten a little little taste, but why not see if you're if one of your favorite rookies or one of your favorite college teams or NFL teams were covered during that interview? Um, and yeah, you know, head to the website, show that love, throw a like, comment, tell me how you feel about Mason Foster. Do you do do you want your team to get Mason Foster? Let me know. Cheers to me, cheers to you, all the wrong boys and girls, what to do, daily, daily.